we're back taking a nice little walk here on Mass Ave because we're heading to this place right over there for the food truck first Friday food truck of the month Woo! well we're at the site there's a freaking line New to the channel, Andy and Jack Deep. Woo! <laughs> this they is my first glamorous. time in America. I love it. Ow. Hey, don't make me out to be a liar. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Fries. She, ever since she saw the list, is obsessed with the fries. I'm always obsessed with fries. Well, who isn't? There's a lot of barbecue here. That's like the second one, third one I've seen. There's Caribbean food over there. Gigi's Cupcakes, classic. Pierogi, um, pretzel, a boutique. Geico. The Blue Lagoon. What is this? What is this? Oh, hey. Brazilian food. Alibaba's. And Mediterranean. Moroccan. Whew. Okay, where is the fries? I can smell fries. Perfect fries. Fry, fry. Oh, Alright, jump in. And another cupcake truck. She's getting her fries. So the thing about this place is that most hey there's a donuts and coffee truck. Ah, right there. But most of the things here are like seven dollars. Everything's under ten basically. Pretty good deals for every little thing and there are a lot of things going on. There's gonna be music and entertainment. There's drink cart over there. Tickets for stuff being sold. A lot of food. Venezuelan place. Soul food. I don't know what this is. Pizza? Oh, it is pizza, look at that. Is it pizzaology? Or it's just pie. It's called pie. Donuts and coffee. Beautiful weather we're having. Perfect day for this. Don't know what to get. He doesn't know what to get. She doesn't know what to get. She doesn't know what to get either. So confused. <laughs> Alright, we decided on Poperio. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I don't know how to say that word. It's Moroccan supposedly. So, yeah, we're here in the truck. And they decided to come here too. She got her fries. And they taste so good. They are. I'm really happy. Oh, nice They're and like warm. seasoned too. It's Bacon and cheese, and then they've got like a nice seasoning on them. Very basic, but so good. That's why I was. I'm happy. Here at Pocadillo, oh my god, they have lamb shawarma. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Which one did you try? <laughs> I think I want the lamb now. <laughs> oh, that's the one I want. So, what'd you get? Lamb shawarma. Ah, the momentous first bite. Alright, moment of truth. Look at this lovely stuff. I just took a bite. It's very nice, fresh, and refreshing. Wow. Doesn't sound right. But nice, decent sized pieces of lamb, considering we are at a big event. So, plenty of lamb to go around and look at all of those nicely chopped ingredients. So good. So, so good. Pabellon Arepa. Woo. It's got plantains and some sort of meat, I can't remember now, pork, I think. <laughs> Black beans and cheese. Verdict. Chihuahua. Oh, thank you. I was just like, ah, are you recommending that as a meat? I put cheese. <laughs> The Chihuahua region of Mexico. <laughs> How is it? It's pretty good. So you don't think it's confusing with the meat and the plantain? Not too much. It's really good, like the crispy parts, but there are like some not so crispy parts. Like it's chewy and it's not as good. But it's still light. And yeah, it's not really sweet, but she got marshmallow, peanut butter, Nutella, and berries. And it's just the perfect light dessert in between in between um, meals. <laughs> Here at the beach, I was like pointy part. Ew. Yeah, it was all pleasant. Had some ice. 
Of course, when I'm eating it, it turns into this hot mess and I get out my pants. Never had pierogies before. Do you know what they're like? No clue. Are they like dumplings or something? They look like deep fried ravioli, kind of, but they are not ravioli. Oh, it says right there. You could have fooled me though, because I mean, look. Yeah. There's a reason that fire uh, exists. Right? First time trying a pierogi, what'd you think? I like it, it's interesting. It's got this really nice texture. It's different. It's weird. I can't put a finger on it. Yeah. Well, I like it. Just got the mac and cheese pierogies. Jeff I got the traditional over here. Poor did point out something interesting. They do look like wings. They really do. Perfect. Mm. Look who joined the party. Finally. <laughs> That is good. He just tried a pierogi traditional style. <laughs> so this was good while it lasted. After a while. stars? Like out of five? Out of five? I would say like two. I was going to say two as well yeah. because after a while you get tired of the texture. There's not much variance. The outside um, crunch is really good. Then the inside is kind of like mush and then mush. And yeah. Then mush. Those $10 were eight pieces. Not bad. bad. Because the other ones are like what, ten dollars for four? Yeah, the other, the one that I was looking at, the like farmhouse, was fourteen dollars for four. Dear I Lord. think they were like big. But yeah, two out of five stars. Oh, Although the price is good, but still the texture. Is just... I would give the traditional like four out of five. Stars. Yeah, yes, yes. That was really good, and I've never tried anything like that before. Yeah. yeah. We're done at the food truck. Woo! We just dropped off Corey and Sean at their respective places, and now it's. Just the two of us and we had a pretty fun time at the food truck place definitely check it out it happens every summer from Ju june to about august september ish at the end of summer every first friday only aside from that you can pretty much find the food trucks everywhere in indy there's an app or you can check on their sites their social media accounts and you can find them that way on whatever street they're at anyways peace out guys see you in the next episode of spam fatty see ya bye bye hello